Away we go. Sean Riley, excellent return man. Hops his way to the 20 yard line with a penalty marker thrown. To do with it, Mr. DeVito. Just a three man rush. DeVito throws underneath. Trying to work forward is Mo Neal, and he's very close to the stick. Wearing that 16 that Russell Wilson wore when he played here. Got a patch on his jersey to commemorate that as well. He's got an open man on the first play of the game, and it is caught by Devin Carter. Red shirt freshman. I don't know if Devin Carter catches this ball or Four completions of 20-plus yards in the last three games, already with a 27-yarder. Here comes a freshman running back in Jordan Houston, and already NC State is into the red zone. Third and long, That's too. exactly what he, they want to do. Our impact players going up against a banged-up offensive line. Hot pitch, plenty of time. Fires back of the end zone through the uprights. Excellent freshman season. Has missed a field goal in three straight games. All of them have been beyond 40. This one from 32. Got his first home start against Clemson. That's oh, tough sled. That's tough sled. Play action on first down. Didn't have the look he wanted and ended up tossing the ball away. <laughs> Two penalties for Syracuse to start tonight. Not ideal. A conversion here would be very helpful. They swing it out to Mo Neal, the North Carolina native. Excellent open field tackle. Payshawn Smith, the sophomore from Fort Lauderdale. That's two drives in a row where the corners have made a big time open field tackle. Coach Gibby recruited me to West Virginia. You know, that gets until 17. Big time ball here. Fair catch from Thayer Tonic. Gotta punch it in in the red oh. zone. They gotta score touchdowns, not field goals tonight. I think we can all concur with that, but three points is better than zero, Matthew. Good math, good math right there. That's a heck nice of a out route as he's able to find Emeka Imezi. We'll give it to Knight with that blocking in front, and he picks up the first down on third and short. Four wides, guys, they're spreading it up. They're going pretty multiple with their personnel groups and their formations. And they run out of the four wide look with Knight once again, and he has a good run close to the line to gain at the 26. Blitz from the orange coming. Hockman steps into the sack. Andrew Armstrong is part of a really good linebacker. Big time play on the interior for Syracuse. And if I'm a quarterback, the thing I can't do there, I don't want to take a sack. Right? We talked about, yes, it's a field goal on the bank, but you got you can't make it harder on your guy. Time Dunn will go for a season-long 43. His career-long is 49. Absolutely love. Two starts with great field position, ends up with two field goals for the Wolfpack. Just a three-man rush. All day for DeVito, but nothing downfield. They launch it away. <laughs> I, I tried not to laugh, sorry. We're all holding back there. Bomb for this kid. That is a big ball, an NFL ball, fair catch, two in a row. Defensive back position. Hockman being chased by Kendall Coleman. Throws across his body, and Amezi holds on across the 40 for a first down. 14 NFL teams are represented in their scouting departments tonight at this game. Under pressure, a back foot throw for Devin Carter, incomplete. When you don't run the ball, when you rush the ball for a negative one yard, you're looking for a spark, and Wildcat, they're hoping that can be the thing that gives them the spark. They get a first down from Abdul Adams this time. Headline, third down coming up for Syracuse and Tommy DeVito. Dancing in the pocket, still on his feet. Needs the 32-yard line, and he will be short for Sterling Hoffrichter. Some have said this is the most exciting play in football. And that is a bomb from Hoffrichter. He had a 4-9 last time. That's a 5-0. Devin Leary, redshirt freshman out of New Jersey, made his college football debut in the last game against Florida State. Zonovan Knight wrapped up close to the sticks. They haven't whistled it yet until now. That's why Hockman got the start and why Leary's going to get a little action tonight. And here comes his first throw of the night. Over the top, and it is complete to Thayer Thomas. Perfectly placed ball right here, only where his guy can get it. Little back shoulder up in the air, let the tight end go up and 
ground. Backfield here again for NC State. Third and 17. Leary somehow still alive. Still on his feet. Yeah. Slips the tackle from Robinson. Looking downfield and he lost the football. Got hit hard finally by Kendall Coleman. Tennessee State defense there with young corners staying on their guy. DeVito rifles one for a first down to Sean Riley out to the 34. I like Sean Riley. I was talking to the, Sy the Syracuse local media. They weren't as high on him as I am. I think he's a pretty good player. They love this kid, Tristan Jackson, though. Say he's a player. Michigan State transfer takes it close to the sticks and has the first down. Over the top on a go route, a post route. In 86, Tristan Jackson, he's the guy. They set up a screen for Mo Neal. Gastonia, North Carolina native, right out towards the sticks again at the 43. Adams, he's got 39 counting tonight. 6, 6, 3, 50. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. <laughs> A lot of pressure on DeVito, and down he goes. Into the backfield, the junior from New York. And guys, I don't know if you played Tech Mobile, but if you pick <laughs> past two. Two and a half sacks in his career. They've all come in the last three games. And they're bringing more pressure with Asus, and DeVito has to sling it into the ground. Will this be another potential penalty? He may have still been in the tackle box going straight back, all the way back to the goal line. Intentional grounding, offense number 13. We'll also down at the spot of the foul, fourth down. And they're moving backwards even further. Well, DeVito's looking for number 20 run. His, 21, his running back, Mo Neal. He can't find him. He just kind of hucks it at the foot or the feet of the offensive line. Is coming alive. Draw play for Mo Neal. And it's shut down by Isaiah Moore out at the 42-yard line. His hand time is next level, which, by the way, you eliminate returners. What do you think, over five or under five on this point? That one right there will be a 5 oh, 7 run. Uh, Close, buddy, 4-9. People are chanting Tory. Yeah. Uh, definitely still huge fans of yours. What does it mean to you to get recognized here at the stadium? No, no, it's awesome. You know, this is you know this is home. You know, I grew up in Gibsonville, North Carolina. Guys come back and share the message. As you see, Mike's here. I'm here. We come back and we share the message with these guys and try to help them because we have so many fellas that want to go to the next level. But what is it like? Well, we're able to share share with them real stories and how to get there. Corey Holt has actually coached a couple of the guys that are on the current NC State roster. <sighs> Screen against the blitz, and that gets blown up by Eric Coley. <sighs> Shells in the grocery store. Yeah. <laughs> they became the greatest show on turf. I will barnstormer Kurt Warner. Christian Jackson here. The Michigan State transfer has it out across the 30 and a first down. Tackling by the defensive backs. Little swing to the outside for Neal, and he picks up the first down. Stepped out of bounds at the 45. More pressure on DeVito, and it's another North Carolina State sack. From Hoffrichter, and this punter has been doing an outstanding job of helping them stay in this field position game. Not going to turn over, not as good. Awarding that Taco Bell Live My Student section at the end of the year. Zonovan Knights, good run on first down to work out towards midfield. More good field position for North Carolina State. This NC State offense has to score there. They're letting Syracuse hang around when they're playing terrible. And big runs like that will help, Adam. Zonovan Knight back to back, this time inside the 35. He's back in the backfield. Actually, under center, it's Hockman, beg your pardon, but they, they use him. Tabari Hines. They got Hines double pass! Dare Thomas! He's got the touchdown! Trent Penix out of the backfield, and Thayer Thomas delivers for his second career touchdown pass. Just we, or if we mentioned it, the, the guy goes in motion. It's kind of a little eye distraction. Thayer Thomas goes back to him. The former walk-on turned baseball player drafted by the Red Sox. Wide receiver, do it all. His high school coach is Tory Holt. What else can you put on this guy's resume? A touchdown pass. Coaches talk about it. Not everybody can walk the walk. Dorn has proved that he is. Thayer Thomas delivers for him. Abdul Adams gets wrapped up, a little pep in the step of this defense, and Rock Miller with a tackle for loss. I was impressed with him, but like you said, big shoes to fill, filling in for Eli Drinkwitz, who's now at App State.
Tommy DeVito wants to take a deep shot. He's got his big play threat to Jackson, and he makes the catch! Tristan Jackson just changed the complexion of this game. And Ingram is in some pain. You talk to the NC State defense, they say, the thing that's going to keep them up at night is Tristan Jackson getting a deep ball. Thank you, ref. They've been able to contain him for most of the first half, 90% of the first half. Almost as many yards as Syracuse had had the entire first half. He's out of the game. Tommy DeVito from the 26, trying to change this game in the final seconds of the half, and he gets blocked down by Louis Asus for his second sack. Syracuse still has two timeouts left, has three and a half in the last three games. This one from 44 yards to get Cuse on the board after an anemic first half so far. Wow. This drive starts from the 21 yard line. Jordan Houston ends up taking a loss. Third down and four. Blitz coming from Syracuse. Low throw to Tabari Hines. Is it going to be ruled complete? If it is, it's a first down, and it is. But getting that first down was critical. Hockman has his release to Keon Lassane. And Lassane powering ahead. He's got the first down of the 44-yard line. Lassane hit him with a little okey doke right there on the sideline to pick up some extra yards. Intelligently, Hockman comes down to the check down to Lassane, and Lassane does the rest. Another Syracuse blitz. Man down the middle is Kerry Angeline. And he lost the football. It looked like he was able to recover it and rescue it at the 26. Offense, just moving the ball however they want. That one third down, now they get a big time completion down the middle. Or completed three times as many in this game as they had in the first five games of the year. Screen against the blitz. Oh, it was tipped away by Curtis Harper and picked off by Andrew Armstrong against NC State. Pat, we say it, tips and overthrows. Gotta have them. Gotta get those. <laughs> it's actually a perfect play call by Des Kitchens. Syracuse brings the blitz at the perfect time for this play call, but just an incredible play by Curtis Harper to get his. The third minute's better than the third and 37. Pressure coming on DeVito again, and down he goes. Serious injury to Ingram, he's done, the cornerback. <sighs> Off Richter, good hang time again, another fair catch of that holding and uh, blocking, right? beg your pardon, out of bounds. Right back to the ground in Zonovan Knight. Didn't need a whole lot, he picks it up for the first down. Appear at a game in Florida State when he redshirted. Did not appear in a game at his Juco stop at Hutchinson in Kansas. Throws the slam and he connects to Thayer Thomas. He's got another first down. Run to pass, not about 50-50, exactly 50-50. Another slant this time and Keon Lassane Takes it to midfield for another first down. I think Dave Dorn and NC State do a good, as good a job as anybody at scouting themselves. Hockman taking a deep shot for Emezi. Going high to get it. And he makes the grab inside the 15, beating Antoine Cordy. 37 yards right there with Blaine Hockman delivering a gem. You talked about the size, Matt. Big advantage. And Hockman's going to... Go to the back corner of the end zone this time. Incomplete. Same matchup. Imezi against Cordy. Couldn't play, and if I'm the other 10 guys on that defense, I'm very disappointed in my teammate. That's a sixth year player who knows better, frankly. Big play off the edge by Alton Robinson. Trying to cash in on third down and goal. Hockman firing. Low throw, nearly intercepted. And how about the Syracuse defense? And gets away with one there. We got 13 plays, 81 yards. Now they have to settle for another field goal, even after being gifted a personal foul in the end zone by the corner. Well, there's nobody breathing easier right now than Antoine Cordy on the Syracuse sideline. Take a shot if it's there. If not, check it down. Great job. Right back to Neal. Patiently surveys, and he's got the first down. This game for Syracuse. Again, they've averaged. 82 under Babers. This should be a free play. Man of the
the neutral zone. They're looking deep, and he finds Taj Harris. It was a free play with penalty markers. North Carolina State was in the neutral zone. Look at him. I'm one on one. There's no one anywhere, anyone near us. Throw me the ball. They go with Jarvion Howard, who's their primary short yardage back, and he picks up the two necessary to move the chains in the red zone. Good job of getting half of it back. Good accurate throw. On third down, DeVito gets wrapped up and brought down. Sack in his first 27 games. He's been monster the last three. From 32. But clearly the frustration is mounting. Four man rush for Syracuse. Coleman nearly got to Hockman. And he got wrapped up on the sideline by Brandon Berry. It takes as like a veteran or senior offensive lineman to kind of curse you out one time and you stop doing that. You learn to throw the ball away quicker. Sean Riley, good hang time on that Trenton Gill punt. Fair catch after a 48 ship. DeVito finding some space. He's got a lot of green in front of him. Picks up the first down and steps out near midfield. In the pocket, let him beat him with the arm. Now DeVito decides to step up and go on a 17-yard scamper. They brought a little bit of pressure. The offensive line picked it up. Put this thing on my back and pick up a first down here in the fourth quarter. That's a good job by DeVito. Mm. Jarvion Howard gets hammered. Peyton Wilson, Calvin Hart both get into the backfield for a loss. What we like to call good numbers on the defensive side. Tackle for loss, also known as a TFL. LOL. <laughs> Takes it out to the sticks. He's got a first down to the 42 yard line. 14 yards on that play to make up for the loss. Going out, Tommy DeVito went over and said something to him, trying to comfort him. We've seen Welch and DeVito now try to settle down Harris. That's why Jordan is probably in the game right now. He's got more catches on the last two plays than he had his entire career. I understand it. Unlike you, I am culture. Third down. Blitz from North Carolina State. DeVito to the end zone. It is broken up. Incomplete. Wolfpack bring the pressure again. DeVito. Desperation heave to the end zone and it's caught. What a play by Cameron Jordan, but it's incomplete. And Syracuse, though, can't get points on the board. In a game that revolves around points, that is a problem. And now the freshman with a big time first down there. Jordan Houston out of Waldorf, Maryland. Virginia Player of the Year there. This is just a nice one cut. They're going east and west and then get a big turnover on downs for the defensive side of it. What are you going to do with it, NC State? Hockman under pressure. Did he get rid of the football? Kendall Coleman? He's an elite pass rusher with elite athleticism. Think about this too, guys. If it was a sack, the clock would keep moving. It does stop the clock because it is an incomplete pass. A few more seconds saved. Bomb! Stayed up for that one. It was a late one. It was worth it. And Syracuse trailing by 13. Mo Neal out of the backfield. A big gainer. And he works his way out near the 40-yard line. Still a lot of time. And a really, really good route by Mo Neal, the running back 21 out of the backfield. It's called a money route, a halfback at a sack. I've been doing that too much. Throw it away, live to play another down. Smart. Second down and 10, DeVito pumped, and then takes off with another big run. He started his slide right at the sticks. Practice with music all week. They thought they were ready for it. Clearly, they were not. Three-man rush. Abdul Adams leaps to make the catch. It'll bring up fourth down. Work down in seven, they need the 45 of NC State. Wolfpack bring another blitz. DeVito trying to run for it, and where are they gonna mark him? Right at the 45, and he just barely picked up the first down. Almost like willing it to happen. More pressure from North Carolina State. DeVito for Jackson. Incomplete, penalty marker is thrown on the play. This season, Hackett's got three touchdowns. One of them was on that same exact play. He's got three scores all in the last two games. Jackson takes it out of bounds inside the 20 to the 18. They're bad at math. North Carolina State bringing the heat. One on one for Jackson. Incomplete. Mm. Keyshawn Miller takes the penalty again. One outside, both sides. 
slant. Jackson, touchdown Syracuse. They finally get a score with three minutes to go. And we've still got a ball game in Raleigh. With the help of a couple penalties, Cap with the TD. And what happens outside that DB, that corner, thinks you're going to run another fade. So you set him up like you're going to run the fade and whoop, get it right inside, stay flat. Nice touchdown. That is really tough for a DB. Excellent route. He's got the weapons, and DeVito has shown he's got the arm to get something done downfield. Trying to get a first down to essentially end the game. Oh, they ran it with Hoffman, and Armstrong was not fooled. Stopped him at the 41-yard line. Fourth down is coming up here. He could have thrown it away, and he's taking sacks. You've got to throw the ball away now. Well, get rid of it fast. They get the first down. Clock will stop momentarily. Just a three-man rush from NC State. Abdul Adams out of the backfield. Takes it into NC State territory. Moore makes the tackle. Clock stops on the first down momentarily again. Five in the pattern again. Just a three-man rush for NC State. DeVito cannot take a sack here, and he does! To review, the game is over. Hey, big-time win for NC State here on primetime television. Coach Doran is getting the crowd jacked up just like he did before the game, throwing T-shirts out there. Boo Corrigan, the athletic director, said NC State wants to be the premier school in North Carolina. They were dominant tonight.